Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video of this module 2, which is Generative AI in Coding. So yeah, in today's video, we'll be seeing one of the applications of Generative AI in Coding, which is Code Generation and Review using ChatGPT. So yeah, we will see how this powerful AI model can assist developers in generating code and providing valuable code review suggestions. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So before delving into code generation, let's quickly understand what chat gpt is the chat gpt is an advanced language model that is developed by open ai and it uses artificial intelligence to generate human-like responses or you can say text-based prompts as well and yeah when it comes to code generation uh developers can interact with chat gpt through a chat interface uh and in that they can provide prompts or descriptions of the code they want to generate and you know ask specific questions or provide requirements and after that chat gpt based on its training uh, can then generate code snippets or you can say functions or even entire code blocks that align with the given specifications all right so if i can demonstrate this uh, to you guys with the help of a mini lab so let's just go what code generation is and how does it work so let's just see i want i have an example or a question with me and i want chat gpt to work on that and give you the code out of that so I'm just going to type in a prompt uh, with the description of what code I want of what code I'm desiring out of that. So I'm just going to write it a prompt. Let's just go for example that. So I'm just going to type here, write me a Python code uh, to find square root of a number. And let's just hit enter and see if it will generate the desired output or the desired code for us or not. All right, so it did generate a code for us uh, for the square root of a number. So uh, let's just quickly copy that and paste it into our compilers to see if that's correct or not. So I'm just going to paste here and run that. Okay, so first of all, it's asking me to enter a number. So I'm just going to enter, let's just say I want a square root of 36. So I'm going to hit enter. And yes, yeah, so it's saying the square root of 36 is 6. So yeah, this code is working absolutely fine. So by that, uh, you can generate code uh, using simple description in your prompt that you want the desired code to be. So this was a very simple or easy example. So if you can go ahead and let's, you know, just, just see the bit of a complex example. So I'm just going to type here in the one that... So I'm going to type here, write me a Python code for bank management system. So this time I'm demanding a whole project. You can see a whole complex code out of ChatGPT just to see how efficient it is and will it give me the desired output for that or not. So let's just hit enter and see that. All right, yeah, so as you guys can see, just created an example of simple bank management system project by using classes and objects. So yeah, we did get an output for that as well. So let's just copy that and see whether it's working for us or not. So I'm going to hit copy code and go into my compiler again and paste it right here. And let's just run that to see whether it's working or not. So yeah, as you guys can see, this was kind of a mini project that we just generated out of a simple prompt in chat GPT. So first of all, it's showing account number is 1234578. Account holder name is also written. Then we have current balance zero. The, then we have all the possible information or detail that we want in a bank management system project. So yeah, these were basically a few of the examples out of which you can understand how code generation can be done in chat GPT by using generative AI in coding. So okay, now let's just move on to code review. So in code review, developers can share their existing code with chat GPT through the chat interface and then they can ask for a review for that and you know they can inquire about the code's readability, efficiency or even adherence to coding standards as well. So now let's just go ahead and demonstrate code review through a mini lab. So I'm just gonna open my chat GPT once again again all right so let's just see i found a code on internet or anywhere and i'm asked uh, to tell like what is code for and what is used for so i'm just gonna copy that code and paste into uh, the chat interface over here and i'm just gonna give it a bit of a space and add in another prompt to review this code for me so this is a very simple technique you can just type in your code that you want to add to review and after a few spaces you can just type here review this code for me now let's just see if chat can tell us like what this code is used for 
All right, yes, yeah, so as you guys can see, with just a one layer prompt, review this code for me. ChatGPT has now explained this whole code stepwise with every possible information that we need to know about this code. First of all, it's saying provided code is a simple Python script that determines whether a given number is even or odd. Okay, so now we know what's the title of this code. So now it's reviewing the first line of the code for us, then the second, then the third, then the fourth, and you know, all that as well. So yeah, now you see, like with the help of ChatGPT, not only you can generate, code but you can study and you can learn about code as well and you can learn step by step and ChatGPT will provide you all the possible information that you need to know about the code that you put into the input so there you have it this was an explanation to code generation and review using chat gpd so yeah now you know how incredibly this ai model can now assist developers in generating code and providing valuable code review suggestions but remember uh you know while chat gpd can be a helpful tool uh human review and expertise are very crucial on that to ensure like the generated code is correct secure and also aligned with project requirements so yeah that will be it for today's video and i'll see you in the next one with another application of generative AI encoding. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.